can you call your spouse spicy names in the bedroom? A bit of a degradation, schminky schmink, if you will. There's a lot of controversy about this one. So anybody else with uh, little boys in the house find quarters and Nerf darts and corn, <laughs> actual corn, not the type of corn I usually talk about, actual corn from the agritainment corn pit in their dryer. <laughs> There's a lot of controversy on this one. So as always, let's remember, I am not your Holy Spirit. Um, I can give you both sides and then you take it up with the Holy Spirit. So um, the people who are against it will use the verse, let no unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, blah, 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 which it's, I mean, that, that conviction is pretty straightforward, right? Um, but I think the conversation is more nuanced than those people would like to admit. Just like I say a little bit of a smacky smack in the bedroom is not an issue between two consenting adults. Um, I say a little bit of bad girl is okay in the bedroom as well. And is it truly not uplifting if the person you are saying it to really loves it and really gets off on it? I would personally say in that scenario, it's actually kind of loving to provide um, sexual gratification in a way that your spouse really enjoys. Um, and again, you know, this is this is consenting partners. If one or both of you is uncomfortable with that scenario, then don't do it. But if one or both of you gets really hot from experiencing that, the marriage bed is undefiled. And if you would like to continue the conversation about these sorts of words and phrases and things even more, I suggest joining my Patreon. It's $5 a month. You get access to two brand new videos every single week and access to the entire library of videos that I have already published, including some that touch on exactly this subject. So go talk to the Holy Spirit. Talk to your spouse, and you know the drill. Go have good sex.